Right, this is the new heat exchanger I've made. Uh, just show you what it's like. This is this is it. So there we are. It's got a, a bolt in there, and that pops up in the hole on the fire. This is. goes in there nice and easy so that will slip in there push two holes the other end which I've not drilled yet so that's your heat exchanger nice and simple I've had to make it like that because you won't get two bends in at that distance it just doesn't work out so 45s I do doesn't matter that bit there is right in the flame, so that's going to be hot. These pieces here will exchange the heat across to the tube, so you'll get more heat, more onto the actual water, it'll give you a more transfer. The, uh, the hole over there, which I've just drilled, this one here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little hole there, six millimeter in diameter. Now, we should really, it's been running a year, so we should talk about delamination of the steel. And uh, we'll soon find out, because it was six mil plate, slightly over six mil, so we'll see what we've got. So we're gonna measure that. Slide a piece of glass in under there, and we're gonna go down there. We've got six and a half. So uh, delamination, virtually zero at this present time for that a year. It took five years for the other one to um, start to collapse. So there we are. You can see the measurements. That's about delamination of the steel. So it's pretty good. Uh, don't forget, I'm using quarter plate there. The actual flame tube is quarter plate. The rest of it's three mil. So this is three mil, that's three mil. And I did find when I've made the new chimney that uh, being three mil, it takes a little bit longer to warm up. When I, but with the old chimney, it took exactly 10 minutes to clear the smoke. <clears throat> this one takes just over the quarter of an hour because you've got to get this chimney warm enough to um, perform so that's the problem that you get you get because the chimney's three mil takes that much longer um, so there we are that brings you all up to date the uh, the extra bit that I put in over here I've not needed at the moment because it's been too cold so like we've we've actually had minus and zero degrees here but today it's lovely it's six degrees can't stand the heat oh dear to go and lay on the slab in a minute right so there's the little update the threads on the end obviously will be for the copper tube to clink onto or steel barrel doesn't matter so i'll put a, a fitting on there and a fitting on there and that will go in that one will be going into the pump and that one will be going into the return. So that's how it's going to work. So it's going to go round there, round there, and the pump will pull it round. Um, the only thing I did find with the one I've got already that I've built, um, uh, when, you, when you switch it on, it takes quite a few minutes for it to actually get going to circulate the water. And when the water is circulated, the pump's up powerful it pulls it out too quick so it goes on off on off until the water gets hot enough to do a full circulation and that's what this is over here this is the thermostat that uh, clips on the pipe work and that uh, turns the pump on and off to get the circulation going right and it's set at 50 C so there we are um, I think that's about all we can say today and uh, hope you all have happy times building a rocket stove. There are simple. Don't forget, they've been around a long time. 
And I don't expect some of you realise that the first people to build rocket stoves were the Romans. And that's where they had the little fire in the bottom under their floor heating and the hypercourses was all rocket stove. So if you look it all up, you'll see where it really started from. This is Dave signing off. Don't forget the bits at the bottom. Thumbs up, give us those likes and uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on. Um, we'll, we'll come back later in the year. It's not going to be done now, but later on in the year we'll show you what the uh, new heat exchange is doing. It'll be added to the one that's on there, so it's not going to be take the other one off. I'm going to add this into it, so it'll give me more performance. And I think that because it's where it's going, will actually be hotter. Um, well, it will, because it's going to be in the flame. So don't forget, thumbs up, and uh, don't forget, subscribe, turn the bell on. This is Dave signing off. Catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye. Have a nice Christmas. Bye-bye. We gone.